Hey guys, Megan Mitchell here. I've been loving your submissions to our Stella Artois food board, and this week you inspired me to head to Lake Tahoe to explore the lake and cook up a delicious meal. Resting on top of the Sierra Nevada mountains, Lake Tahoe is located between California and Nevada. With 72 miles of shoreline, the lake is what makes this place special. It's the highest alpine lake in North America and the second deepest in the U.S. It's also one of the cleanest bodies of water in the world. I decided to visit Emerald Bay State Park and saw the only island in Lake Tahoe. In the summer, it's perfect for swimming and water skiing, but I think it's at its most beautiful in the late fall. Today I'm making a grilled pear and radicchio salad. And I'm gonna start with my dressing. And I need one large shallot. I'm just gonna cut off the ends and finely mince it. Ooh, strong shallot. Put this in my bowl. And then I need about a tablespoon of Dijon mustard and half a teaspoon of just granulated sugar. Two tablespoons of sherry vinegar. And I'm using sherry vinegar. It's light, it's sweet. I think it'll complement the pears nicely and the radicchio. And then I'm gonna add some hazelnut oil. I need about a third of a cup. That looks great. I'm gonna whisk it together. That's perfect. I'm gonna set it aside and move on to my pears. I'm gonna slice them in half. And then I'm gonna drizzle them with a little extra virgin olive oil. So pretty. A little salt and a little black pepper. And I'm gonna sprinkle a little allspice on the pears. It's really warm and I think it'll balance nicely with the sweetness of the pears. It's very autumnal. I'm gonna finish with a little honey. It'll caramelize nicely on the pears. And right, I'm gonna put these on the grill, cut side down first. And while those cook, I'm gonna move on to my radicchio. I'm using Treviso radicchio. If you can't find this, just use the regular round radicchio to work perfectly. I need two of these. I'm gonna just cut them in half and then a little drizzle of olive oil and salt and pepper. And remember, I didn't put any salt and pepper in the dressing itself. You wanna make sure and properly season the lettuce. These look great. Put them on with my pears. I wanna cook this about five to seven minutes. The lettuce will start to char and wilt and then the pears will get nice and caramelized. My pears and radicchio look ready, so I'm gonna take them off and start plating. All right, I'm gonna start by cutting my pears in half. I'm gonna put two of the halves down, and then I'm gonna start to pile up the radicchio, almost to a little tower. And then I have some toasted, roughly chopped hazelnuts, and these will add a nice little crunch to the salad. And then a little of the dressing. And I'm gonna finish off with some manchego cheese, and I'm using just a vegetable peeler, and it'll give us really nice thin shavings, and it starts to melt on the pears. And there we go, my grilled pear and radicchio salad. The sweet and dry notes of the Stella Artois Cidre will help cut the bitter, spicy flavors of the radicchio. And now on to our butternut squash flatbread, and I'm gonna start with my butternut squash. I'm gonna cut it right where this long piece meets the bulbous end. I'm gonna cut that off, I'm gonna cut off this other end, and then a vegetable peeler. I'm gonna peel all of the skin off because it's inedible. And then I just wanna thinly slice it, as thin as I can make it. And it's okay if they're not perfect rounds. I'm gonna push that to the side. I'm gonna grab my red onion, and I'm gonna quarter it. And I'm leaving the root on to keep it in one piece so I don't lose an onion through the grates. I'm just gonna peel the skin off. And then I'm just gonna drizzle everything with a little olive oil and then a sprinkling of salt and pepper. I wanna make sure all the butternut squash is coated. I don't want anything sticking on the grill. And this takes some time because you don't wanna just throw all the butternut squash on the grill. You wanna lay it piece by piece. And now my onion. Let it cook about five minutes. I'll go in and check. I'll flip the butternut squash. I just wanna give it a little head start because it won't fully cook on the pizza if I leave it raw. And they look lovely. I'm gonna take them off. Now I'm gonna start on the assembly of my flatbread. And I have some fine cornmeal that I'm just gonna to use to dust my pizza peel. And I have my pizza dough, you can use homemade or store-bought. Then using my fingers, I'm gonna spread it out roughly the shape of a circle. 
And now I'm gonna take it to my preheated grill. You want this to cook three to four minutes just until it gets nice grill marks and it's crunchy. And while that grills up, I'm gonna work on my vegetables. I'm gonna chop my onion. Check on my dough. So using my pizza peel and my tongs, I'm just gonna pull off my dough. And I'm gonna flip it because I'm actually gonna build the pizza on this grilled side. This will ensure you do not have a soggy pizza. I'm gonna start with some mascarpone cheese, a couple tablespoons. Just spread it over the dough and it starts to melt into it. And then some freshly grated Parmesan cheese. All right, and now my chopped onions that I've reserved. And you just wanna evenly disperse the onions. You don't want just one slice of onion pizza. And then my grilled butternut squash. And these are pretty much cooked through. You can sort of shingle them around the pizza. And then some fresh sage leaves. I love sage with butternut squash. So I'm gonna put whole leaves and then I'm gonna finish it off with more Parmesan cheese. I'm back on the grill. And this is gonna cook on low, maybe four or five minutes until the top gets a little bubbly and the bottom cooks and grills up. Looks so, so pretty. And I'm just gonna finish off my pizza with some freshly grated nutmeg. It complements the sage and the butternut squash. It's just a cozy seasonal meal. I have my beautiful flatbread pizza, my grilled salad. Pizza and salad, my favorite dinner. Cheers. I had a blast in Lake Tahoe. Thanks for sending me here. Where should I head to next? Be sure to take your favorite food and destinations to our Stella Artois food board with the SA Food Board. I can't wait to see where you send me.